Hey friends, what's up? Cyber Chaos Crew here, bringing you another unboxing video. This time for the Cyborg V1 PC flight stick. Really cool box. You can see the stick pictures. Here, there's the features. Up to 18 programmable functions using powerful software. Works with all flight games. See, very versatile stick. Here, another picture on the back of the box with the cyborg there. Rundown of all the features. Here we go. Ambidextra stick with trigger and five buttons, all positioned for instant access in the heat of battle. POV switch. Easily change cockpit views to keep track of your enemies. Pinky switch operates as a normal control or can be programmed as a shift button to double up your control functions. Throttle lever for smooth realistic engine control. Twist action weather control. Unique removable legs for easy storage and supported by powerful programming software. Okay, so Windows support, etc., USB. A stick from Madcats, you got the Madcats logo there. This is SciTech technology that was acquired by Madcats some time ago. Here you have the inside of the box, it comes well packaged. Alright, so you gotta remove these parts on the on top and then the inside there's this there's the stick there with the feet attached to it on the cardboard. wipe it all and then here you have the plastic the stick comes covered with the plastic once you remove the feet and the cardboard there's the stick there all right really nicely packaged a lot of attention here the underside you can see the red locks and here the technical support and warranty information and also the user manual with installation instructions, assembly instructions, etc. Okay, so I have the stick here. As you can see, this is a very low profile stick, very portable stick. All right, so here I want to show you the back side, the downside. It's got the locks here. You open them like this. Then you pull them out. So that you can fit the feet. Feet is what's gonna give support to the stick. Here they are. You're gonna fit them here. They go here. You gotta place them like this. Facing up on the, on the upper side. There's the cable, the USB cable, gotta make sure it's in the middle, goes in the middle, has a little opening. And you're gonna bring them down and when, when you hear a click, it means that they're in place, okay? Like this. Bring them down, they click and they're in place. It's a tight fit, there's no movement after that, no trepidation. You can place the stick in the table. It's got a really good grip, okay? Then you put the locks back on. All right, they go on, they go in just like this. You secure, you secure the, the feet on the stick with the locks. Lock 
them in and you're good to go. Then you go ahead and use the stick. Okay. It's got uh, six degrees of movement, it's got pitch, roll, pitch, no, pitch, yaw, and roll. Not sure that's the, the right order, but yeah, something like that. And then you have the trigger, you have the buttons on the back. The, the switch, the point of view, uh, point of view uh, selector, and then you have a pinky switch. This pinky switch here, I think it's probably the only design flaw on the stick because it's placed uh, unless you have really small hands, you're gonna be clicking it by mistake or when you are applying force to move the stick. You are going to be clicking the the pinky switch with your pinky. Okay, I think this is the only design flaw. I have the throttle on here on the back. I'm not. I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be using it because I, I'll have this the, the other hand on my uh, Nostromo Razer Nostromo keypad. I'm going to use throttle with that and some other functions with that. So I'm not going to be using this throttle, but it's got a, a nice throttle lever here on the back. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, and also here, spring mechanism. This spring mechanism. I'm not sure if it's replaceable or not. I've not. I have not disassembled the joystick. But I think, well, for a joystick of this price, I think it's okay that it brings a spring mechanism. And it looks pretty, pretty resilient. I'm not sure if it's gonna last long, and I'm not sure if it's gonna. Resist force very well, but well, gotta, I'll have to test it out. Uh, yeah, so uh, when it is connected, it actually has a, a blue light, a blue LED. Here, let's see, I just connected it to the USB port, so there's there's the blue LED. Okay, another good feature. Again, for for a joystick of this price range, this was like 30 euros. Uh, I think it packs. It looks really good and it packs a lot of cool features. Okay, if you are somebody that wants one stick, if you are a casual or a, a, a flight or space sim player that doesn't want to spend tons of money on a stick, I think this is a pretty good choice. All right, I recommend it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna place it here on my on my desktop And also I want to show you the program that I already downloaded from the site from the The cyborg the Cytex cyborg site Or Madcats. Now it's Madcats, but I think that the, the, This program was developed by, was developed by Cytex Okay, so there it is, you have to go to cytechcyborg.com or something like that to, to download these the drivers and this uh, and this this program here this program you can select any of the of the pro flight or keyboards or mice or pads from Cytech. It works with all of these products. In this case here we're gonna select the flight stick, Cyborg V1 flight stick. And then you can assign, you have here the buttons, you have the functions, trigger button, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, pinky, POV, axis, I think these ones here probably you cannot change the function, they're, they're in dark grey, twist, twist throttle. Alright, but these ones here are assignable, you can assign whatever, you just press a key on the keyboard if you want A, B, C, A, S, double D, alright, you can assign whatever you want, you press this, you can even make, can, you cannot make macros like 
on the on the razor synapse, but you can make key combinations, add multiple keys. It must be unlimited. I'm not sure if it's no, it's not unlimited. Maybe it is. I'm not sure if how many how many keys it allows you to take. Pointer. And okay. And then you have all these keys in, in just one wooden. Press the trigger. It's gonna be pressing all of those, all of those keys. Oh, it, allow, it actually allows you to to make macros. New macro. So this is a macro, right? But you, you cannot record this. It's it's a macro because you can input multiple keys, but you cannot record. You cannot uh, add sensitivity record or, or duration records. You can only put the the key inputs there. And program. It. All right. So you see. You can program to this in this program here. You can program whatever inputs you want to the different keys, to the different buttons on the joystick. Okay, that's it. Then you can save the profiles. You can save, open, make new ones, views, shift state, create shift state. Oh, shift state must be for the pinky switch. If you press the pinky switch, then the keys will do something else that you assign them to. Okay. Alright, see, a lot of cool features. Okay. Alright, so that's it for this video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you're looking for a cheap stick with a really nice design and cool features, give this one a go. Alright, I'm gonna link in the description. Uh, place where you can buy this stick and uh, okay I'll see you next time and thanks for watching